Hi everyone, my name is Sachin Isaria. So in our today's video, we will be discussing how to register for CISA examination. So I have received a lot of queries from the student that uh, they, they are facing some difficulties in the CISA uh, uh, examination registration. So in this video, we will be discussing how to register for CISA examination. So let's start the video. So I will open my browser, okay? In your browser, first type CISA exam registration, okay? Once you uh, type this, okay? So this uh, Isaka's website will appear. So what you need to do is you need to click on the register now. As you can see on the screen, there is option to register now. Just click on this option. Once you click on this option, it will redirect you to Isaka's login page. Okay, now you have a two options. If you have already created your Isaka's account, you just need to provide your email ID, uh, which is your username and the password, then you can log in. But suppose if you are uh, new to Isaka's website, then first you need to create your user account. So we'll start with the scratch. So we'll create new uh, account here, new visitor only. Okay, now let's give the basic informations. So I'm putting my information. I already have uh, Isaka's account, but now I will create a separate account using another email ID. Okay, so this I am creating just for the purpose of this video. So I'm giving my... Uh, another email id in country you need to select your country then click on the i have read the policy and create account so now my account is created okay account is created so basically, uh, to register for examination, they will ask you certain questions. Okay, you need to fill this form. So prefix, uh, Mr. First name and last name, they have automatically captured. Okay, then government issued ID first name. So this you need to give the name as per the driving license as per your uh, other identity uh, proofs okay so i'm giving my first name here then last name birth year uh which of the following describe how mm, so this is some basic information we need to fill this is mobile number and all this is not a mandatory organization so basically you need to give the name of organization suppose if i'm working in abc and company this is just a dummy data. Okay. So I will put my company name here. So in whatever company you are working, you need to give the name. Okay. Then the level of education. So suppose if you have completed your B BCom, BA, MBA, doctorate. So whatever options are given, you can select from this option or there is option for other also. So suppose I have completed my BCom three years and I have suppose MBA or master's degree, I will click on this. What is your job title? So job title will include the designation like you are manager, senior manager, consultant, whatever you are. Then you need to give the industry in which industry you are working. So they have given certain list. If you are not falling under this list, you can click on the other option. Otherwise, you can click any. So suppose if I am working in a financial and banking, I will select this. What is your current professional activity? So whether you are an auditor, okay, whether you are IT staff, whether you are a teacher, student, what you are as per the category you need to select. So for example, I am clicking here for IT auditor. What is your primary job responsibility? So you, whether you are auditor, security, privacy, governance, whatever, like, you know, your job responsibilities are as per the responsibility, you need to fill the details. What is your years of experience? Okay. 
then uh, what is your company size size of your it security staff need not to be give accurate detail like you can give the approximate detail like like in your company suppose it staff uh, is somewhere between 6 to 10 you can fill this information then what is the size of uh, it staff again they are asking earlier they asked it security staff now, now they are asking it staff so you can give information like you know six to ten individuals are there then organization overall size so somewhere between 500 to 9 uh, so this is just an approximate data that you can fill you know you need not to require to give the exact details whatever is as per your understanding you can provide the details then they will ask you the preferred certificate name what name you want to print on your certificate here also you can put your details so basically uh, i want uh, my name on certificate is like sachin isaria so basically it is uh, advisable that you give this name as per the uh, your government issued id card okay it is always advisable then click on the i accept button and then click on the next once you click on the next it will redirect you to next page so here you need to give the address detail okay whatever your address is you need to give that details here so again i am putting some data here So once you will give your address detail, then click on the next button. Okay. Then they will ask you this option like, you know, if you want to take the remote pro proctoring option. So what is remote proctoring? So basically in remote proctoring, you can give exam from your home. Okay. So if you want to choose this option, then you can click, uh, uh, you can check on this particular box. Okay. So uh, like you have a two option, either you can give your exam from home, that is remote proctoring option. And similarly, you can give exam from the uh, authorized examination center. So you have a, both the options available. Okay. So you can click yes on this option. Similarly, uh, you can click on this. I authorize to release my contact information to my local Isaka chapter. So basically, suppose if you have obtained the membership and if you have obtained some local chapter, then it will forward your contact details to the local chapter. And from there, you will get some notifications when the classes are scheduled and all. Okay. And this is a uh, testing accommodation by the special request. So this is applicable, not applicable for all the candidate. This is applicable only if you have any disability, disability requirement, okay, for certain uh, testing accommodation. So th this is applicable for a uh, few candidate only, not for all the candidate. Okay. So uh, fine. So once you click on this, two option then click on the next button now uh, it will uh, redirect you to purchase validation okay this is the final step where you can uh, you need to make the payment okay this is the final step just click on the continue Save on this your purchase by becoming ISAKA member, not applicable for CMI exam registrants. So what uh, you have a two option guys. So in my previous video, which is things to be know, uh, things to be know before appearing for CISA examination, I have make one video where I have explained you the benefit of taking membership 
or uh, you know giving exam without membership so you have a uh, two options so since i have uh, i am doing this registration without member then i can simply click on the checkout button okay i can simply click on that button but suppose if you uh, if you want to if you want to take members like if you want to join as a member uh, if if you apply for the membership then you can opt for join as a member option okay so what what are the benefit of taking membership what are the benefit of not taking the membership this i have already explained you in a previous video okay i will give you the link of that video uh, in in this uh, in the description box so you can check check the same so currently we are doing this process assuming that i have not taken the membership once you click on this it will directly redirect you to the store okay where you need to make the payment so here it is coming that uh, uh, like without if you are applying uh, for CESA registration without membership then uh, you need to pay the $760 amount and uh, if you have any discount code like you know if you use a membership number of some existing member then it will give you discount of ten dollar and uh, apart from this also if you have any other discount code that discount code you can apply here in the order summary okay then uh, once you uh, verify your names and your address and all then it will ask you to proceed to the billing okay It is processing. Let's wait for a few minutes. Uh, some error happened. Okay. Again, click on the proceed button. no result found what happened there was some error okay now uh basically if you click on the proceed button then it will directly redirect you for the final payment and after making the payment your exam will be registered okay so this is uh this is the option if you don't have the uh membership okay now suppose uh, we will we will do the similar process for uh, uh, people who have already membership so basically what i am doing is now i will log in through my isaka uh, id and i will show you if you have the membership then how you can appear for the exam so i am just clicking on my isaka then i will log in with my credential once i do login uh, screen will appear like this okay now since i have already cleared the cisa examination so what i will do is i will register for cism examination okay because it will not allow me to register for cisa okay so i am clicking here in the search bar cism okay then i am clicking on register now then all the details since i have already provided them so it will automatically fetch the details i will just accept and click on the next button
So the same process is there. Okay, whatever the step we have seen uh, previously, we just need to follow the same uh, process. Click on the next. then again it is asking the same options just click on the next as per your preferences it is processing then it will redirect me to the final purchase validation okay where i need to make the payment continue So now again, it is asking me join as a member and check out. Okay. So basically I'm just doing the checkout. yeah so here i just need to uh, make the payment okay so same uh, we'll just click for proceed to billing okay so this will appear the screen will appear earlier it was not coming so basically now i will just click on the process payment okay once you click on the process payment you, uh, the payment will be done and then you can uh, register for the examination so this is the step by step process guys since i i have already uh, i have already saved my card so it will fetch fetch the card details as well so this is all guys this is how you can uh, register for your examination if you still have any doubt in the steps you can uh, let me know in the comment section uh will will guide you if uh, you need any additional information also so that's all for the video uh you can subscribe to my youtube channel for more uh, such videos thank you guys uh see you in the next video thank you bye bye